everybody welcome back to another vlog today is wednesday and i am doing a major filming day as per usual i feel like i only really get out the camera to film when i'm already filming because that's just what feels the most natural but i am getting started on the work that i didn't end up getting to finish that you saw in the last vlog and just getting started with my day i did my workout this morning i've been really trying to place more of a priority on movement and getting like my me time in um i have really been on a roller coaster this year with that like I started off the year so strong I feel like in January I was killing it I worked out every single day in January um, and then I sort of started falling off in like February March things were just not great and then <laughs> All of like the moving stuff and then my family stuff came up and so it was just like it's been a lot so I've had a couple spurts where I've like okay I'm restarting okay I'm restarting and I'm trying not to have that mentality I'm trying to just like move when I can you know and nourish my body with good foods when I can and then everything else will fall in line do you know what I mean so got that done this morning I'm gonna get some more filming done I think it's like 9 30 now and like not to start off sad but just being honest about what's been going on in my life this week marks one year since losing Layla which is crazy to think about honestly like i truly can't believe it's been a year already it feels like yesterday but it also feels like 10 years ago at the same time it's so weird i'm gonna sit you down because holding you up is hurting my arm i picked a really bad day to uh heavily lotion my legs before i sat down because now the back of my knees are lubricated anyways i can't believe it's been a year and i haven't really talked about it a lot since it happened but yeah like the last 48 hours of layla's life were really traumatic and really awful and like discovering she had cancer while also trying to balance like going out for one of my best friend's birthdays and trying to like put on a happy face when i knew that like things weren't right and it was just like a whole thing yeah it was really like one of the worst weeks of my entire life and i don't know like i was sobbing the other day obviously on the actual anniversary and you know drew and i were crying and it's just horrible like i i think dogs deserve to live forever and it's just so sad and she truly was the best girl in the entire world and i'm still yeah i'm still processing like a lot of feelings about the end of her life because i really was like trying not to think about that for a long time because it was like devastating me and just knowing that she was like locked up in an emergency hospital for like two days and you know was probably scared and really really stressed out and like yeah i don't want to think about it so anyway um it's just been a lot it's been a lot to deal with and i don't you know she was my kid like she was my child for the last well previously for 12 and a half years and you know i raised her from a puppy i rescued her from this rescue out in east nashville and it was like a happenstance thing i happened to see her picture pop up on like someone like a mutual friend's facebook page somebody knew someone who was fostering her i think it was and was like if anyone's looking for a puppy like my friend is fostering this puppy blah blah, blah. and i just like looked at her and i was like that's my dog i instantly knew she was mine and everyone in my family was like you're insane like what are you doing you're 23 years old you do not need to be getting a dog and I was like I don't care and she lived with me through so many different chapters in life different relationships different states she lived with me in Tennessee in Maine in Arizona in California and she was just the best like she was perfect for me and and she was just such a sweet girl and even though she had so many health issues I mean I just feel so lucky that I was able to be her mom and that I was able to be the one to provide the care for her and be able to afford to like send her to the vet and be able to put her on the medications and give her the blood tests and do all of the things um it just makes me really really happy and so i feel really grateful to like have had the time with her but yeah it's devastating i mean i was truly like laid out on the day on the anniversary day because i was just like i can't believe i have lived a year without her like i truly dreaded that day for 12 and a half years and so i'm actually looking at this little thing in the window that drew's mom <laughs> Drew's mom had this made on Etsy. It's like a little thing that I always hang in my window and it's like a little stained glass. Like it's like a 3D printed piece of art and it has a little dog with Layla and a heart. It's so cute. And it kind of looks like her too, except you know, if she was a skinny girl. Anyways, so I'm just looking at that as I'm talking and just, I'm so grateful for the time I had with her, but I actually can't talk about it anymore cause I will start crying. So anyways. <laughs> Capricorn suppressing her emotions go figure the last vlog that you guys will have probably already seen is about to go up So I need to respond to some comments on that check that out finish this video And then we will continue on with more filming But just wanted to say hey give you an update on what I'm doing how I'm feeling and we will catch up later This is always the aftermath of filming 
and that is none of my business. I will deal with that another time. All right, it's a little while later. It is just before noon. It's dark in this kitchen, sorry about that. But I am actually testing out another TikTok recipe. And I'm actually just taking a moment to read through all of your comments. This lighting's terrible, I'm sorry. I was taking a minute to read through all of your comments on my last vlog where I kind of like went on my rant about aging and like how people tell you to act your age and whatever. And I just, I love you guys so much. I was actually like contemplating when I woke up this morning. I was like, maybe I'll delete that. Cause it's just like, I never want to come across too complainy or whatever. I mean, I am kind of complainy, but you know what I mean? And it's just like kind of vulnerable to share stuff like that because like, you're afraid that the response is gonna be like, actually, yeah, you should act your age and you should grow up and blah, blah, blah. And like, I just, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. You guys are my people and I wanna be friends with all of you. So anyway, okay, since we're not acting our age, I am gonna try something I saw on TikTok. No, I'm kidding, but it just sounded delicious. And there was this guy on TikTok who said, I know that's, it's weird, but he basically takes pepperonis <laughs> and places them in between like two sheets of paper towels and then microwaves them and he says they become like pepperoni chips which really is like just dried out burnt pepperoni but I did it and I want to try it I think I did in total like two minutes so I sandwiched them in between two paper towels and then I placed like another plate on top just to kind of get out a lot of the moisture so let's do a little test and see you can hear it I think I honestly may do it for like another 30 seconds. It kind of stinks, I'm not gonna lie, but let's do 30 more seconds and see what happens. Anyway, I got kind of off track, but um, yeah, I'm just having my little snack. I don't really eat lunch until like 1.30, 2 o'clock these days, so. While I'm taking a break and reading some of these comments, yeah, I just wanted to say a huge thank you. You guys are amazing. I'm wearing my O-Town shirt, so like if I do need to grow up, so freaking be it. No, I'm kidding. Hot, hot, hot. Millennials, it is our time to rise up. I actually wasn't that massive of an O-Town fan. I liked them, I still like them. I liked a couple songs, but um, Drew's cousin had a birthday last year and we all surprised her by showing up in matching O-Town shirts because it was like one of her faves. So it was fun and I love this shirt. Okay, let's test it. I feel like this is as crispy as it's gonna get. I mean, it sounds hella crispy. All right, let's give it a try. You know, it's not giving chip. I don't know if I just needed to do it for longer or maybe if this would be better than the air fryer, but it's kind of just like, you know when you are eating pepperoni pizza and you eat a slice that's like a little bit burnt? I think that's kind of what it is. Mm, that one was crunchy. Oh my God, it's so salty. Ooh, okay, let's try this one. Maybe this this one feels a little crispier. It's so salty, but like I made them, so I'm gonna eat them. Mm, I'm not mad at that. I normally only let myself have one soda a day because, you know, health. It's like not good for you, whatever. But I really wanna have a Sprite Zero now because it feels like I'm eating pizza. Not bad, but just holy salt. I mean, I'm still eating them. I feel like if there was some sort of like a ranch dip or like a something to dip this in, that would like balance out a little bit of the saltiness, it would be amazing. I mean, I'm fine with that. I just ate the whole thing, so what can you do? All right, this is what all the ASMR people do. This is gonna hit, I just know it. I love it. Aren't you so glad you tuned into this vlog? <laughs> Cut, it's time to go, I'm sorry. Everybody. Good morning. It is the next day. It's right around I think like 9 30 again. Just finishing up my morning routine I don't even know why I say it at this point because it's the same every day I do my workout make my smoothie take a shower do a little work 
and then get the day going. Today I actually have a pretty chill day, which is amazing. So kind of taking my time getting ready. I have a couple of back-to-back -back FaceTime catch-ups with my friend, which I'm so excited about. I'm gonna chat with my friend Macy in a minute. I'm gonna see her next week. And then I'm gonna chat with Alexa after that, and we're gonna catch up. So yeah, it's gonna be great. I'm just getting ready for the day. I have been trying, trying being the keyword, to start getting ready more. Um, working from home, like you just really don't feel motivated to get ready sometimes. And so I've just been trying to make an effort to like actually get ready, even if it is sort of like athleisure or quite literally a tank top and um, like soccer shorts today. I feel like I'm channeling like Sporty Spice a little bit with my look today and I'm not mad about it. Why do I always wait until I'm filming to attempt to do my eyeliner? Like I can't talk and do this at the same time. I just can't. So funny how one day in, I don't know, 2009, I started doing a cat eye. <laughs> And I never looked back. Like I have truly never looked back. And it's funny because a lot of people when I don't wear like false lashes or eyeliner and I'm just wearing mascara, I get a lot of compliments about how like my eyes look so much more open and thank you by the way, that is so nice. I feel like I still really like that look, but I'm also just a millennial. And so I just really enjoy my cat eye. I enjoy the lashes sometimes. It's just so much faster to get ready when you don't have to put on mascara, but also it's not great for your lashes. It's not like the most fantastic thing in the world. So I try to take a break like right now, obviously. I just have my natural lashes. But anyways, I'm not gonna lie. I have been a little bit just like consumed this week with everything that's going on in the UK and everything that's going on all over the world. So on the day I'm filming this, yesterday they canceled the Vienna dates of Taylor Swift's Eras tour. I don't, we're still not 100% sure of like all the details yet, but it was for like a terrorist threat and that's terrifying and I'm just, I'm sending so much love to everyone who was supposed to be at the Vienna shows and also just I'm so grateful that nothing happened and that those shows were canceled and that things were caught early. This is actually something I was really afraid of happening during the Eras tour because of just the world and how scary it is and so yeah i just wanted to send a lot of love i know a lot of people spent so much money and so much time and they were like already either on the plane to vienna or in vienna when they found out and it's just devastating and it's really sad but it's also like necessary you know and i'm just so glad that everyone is safe oh my god i can't imagine how taylor herself must be feeling right now this must be a truly devastating time and really really scary i can't even imagine oh my god like so terrifying so yeah i've just been thinking about that and how just like mad that makes me that people ruin things for everyone and yeah then on top of that what's been going on in the uk is really scary and really really sad but not surprising and in case you aren't following up with it it's so frustrating to even talk about because it's just ugh. if you know like the history like uk's history and stuff it just makes no sense but um there's a group of people who are hell-bent on like getting immigrants out of their country and they are terrorizing people they are controlling traffic they are trying to set people on fire and buildings on fire they are attacking people in broad daylight i saw a video of some man chasing people with a chainsaw pulling people out of their cars and when i say directing traffic i mean um like if you're a white person you can go if you're a presumed immigrant or a non-white person you but it's just the world is really scary at the moment. This is the most blatant form of racism maybe ever. And it's just, it's horrible. And people have been staying home from work, being sent home from work early, um, needing chaperones to walk to and from the train. The bus stations were canceled, the bus routes, I mean, like it's just, devastating and I'm just sending so much love to anyone in the UK who is a black person, a brown person, a Muslim person, an Asian person, an immigrant, a person of color. If you are watching this and you are in the UK, I'm just sending you so much love and this is absolutely disgusting and shameful. Anyway, kind of weird to talk about on here as I'm like hee hee vlogging my life but it just this is what I'm thinking about and it's really upsetting. It's really, really upsetting and um, not surprising at all. There's just so much to say. But yeah, if you've been on TikTok, I'm sure you've seen about it. And that's all I'm gonna say on the matter. Anyways, okay, on that note, like, how do you even segue from that? Cause that's just, ugh. I am gonna finish getting ready. I am gonna continue on with my work and then we will chat in a little bit. All right, it's a little while later. I got a bunch of work done on the computer and now I'm gonna make myself a coffee. I've been obsessed with this like coffee recipe at home. I know I said that I'm typically just like a plain, 
iced oat decaf kind of girly, but we discovered this stuff. It's called cold foam spray or what's it called? We got three of them, quite literally. Cold foam creamer. It's the French vanilla one, the caramel macchiato one, and the sweet cream. Like we love them so much we bought three. Have I talked about this yet? I know I did on Instagram. I'm gonna do the caramel macchiato one. We just got our groceries delivered this morning so we have some, we finally have food. I was like scrounging. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of almond milk, some of this cold foam, and it is delish. I'm also about 15 minutes out from my call with Macy so I am going to make a quick little snack. But first, we are gonna make some coffee. Okay, so got my double espresso. Freaking Nespresso needs to get on making more decaf options for their espresso because some of us have anxiety. But anyway, I'm gonna do a little bit of almond milk. Use the milk of your choice. I'm gonna use like that much because the creamer obviously makes it creamier. And then obviously this is up to you and whatever you choose to do. I don't need there to be like a cold foam laying at the top. I kind of like it mixed in. So you just shake this up. It's like whipped cream, but like a little more deflated. And then you just spray it on top. I am like very, um, I don't know. I'm very sensitive to things that are too sweet. So I only do this like maybe once or twice a week, but it is so delicious for like an at home version. So there we go. And then we'll put some ice in it. I love this ice maker more than I love most things in the world. This thing is incredible. Do a little bit of the good ice. Got to get the pebble ice in there. I just spilled like half of that. Look at that coffee. Does that not look insanely delicious to you? Just for me. Okay, let's give her a taste test. Yes, it's perfect. Mm. I'm usually an oat milk and coffee fan, but the oat milk plus the creamer is like too creamy, you know? I like the coffee to have at least somewhat of a coffee uh, shade. Like if I get, if I go to a coffee shop and they hand me a coffee that's white, I'm crying inside. Like I hate it. Okay, I'm gonna make myself a little snack and then I'm gonna do some yogurt and like some eggs with turkey in it or something like that. Something really, really super quick because now I'm, I'm down to almost 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna do a quick little Scrambled egg sitch. I was gonna make myself like some pancakes or like waffles or something. By the way, sometimes I eat two breakfasts. Typically, it takes me a really long time throughout the day to be in the mood for like savory food. I don't know how to explain it. But also at the same time, I could simply never eat breakfast for dinner. I used to be able to do that, but I can't anymore. I don't know. Taste buds and like preferences are very weird. So I'm literally just gonna do like some Greek yogurt. I've actually been getting more into like Greek yogurt and sweetening it myself as opposed to getting like the pre-sweetened kinds. Although I do like some of the flavors, but like, I don't know. I'm becoming a purist. That was a lot. I'm still not that much of an egg girly. I'm not gonna lie. Like I've never been one of those people that's like obsessed with a fried egg on top of something or like always craving scrambled eggs but I'm, I'm trying to do a better job at getting more protein in during the day like i realize that i am like extremely protein deficient so that's what we're doing and like usually i would probably do like bacon turkey bacon sausage something like that but number one we don't have any at the moment and number two i don't have time so i'm just gonna do like a quick little scramble like i love peppers and onions and eggs i love anything that'll mask the egg honestly but we don't really have time for that i could probably meal prep but in the meantime we will do just a little bit of turkey don't judge me i'm just you gotta do what you gotta do you know I mean, maybe i'll have like piece of fruit, although the coffee is sweet, the yogurt is sweet. I This is stream of consciousness. I hope you don't mind. I hope you're busy doing other things as well while I just think out loud. Sometimes I'm like, girl, what are you even saying? <gasps> Beautiful. Not gonna lie, yogurt by itself, not like my favorite thing, but we have quite literally five minutes, so 
it is what it is. I have ADHD, I have time blindness, I put off everything until the last second. Okay, there we go. That's what we're having today. I have been recently like seeing a lot of people talking about this yellow bird brand of sauce. So we got the Serrano one. It's really good. It's not super spicy. Almost kind of tastes like a green salsa. I mean, it's definitely like, I don't know, probably on the same spice level as like a sriracha or something, but highly recommend. Very, very good. Okay, I'm gonna scarf these down in like 0.2 seconds. And then jump on my calls to catch up with my girlies. I'm so excited. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Literally. I miss you so much. What the hell? I can't believe you're just like in Arizona now. Don't even get me started. Uh, that was the best. Like, nothing uplifts your spirits more than chatting with one of your girls, you know? It's so great. So I have about 20 minutes until my next call with Alexa. And I'm going to quickly send over, I think I did this already, but I'm double checking. I need to send over some footage to my editor, Tara, for this week's video, this week's main channel video. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. It was so nice to catch up with Macy. It was quick because obviously, well, I didn't tell you guys this, but she and Lexi are actually gonna be in Arizona next week. And we have some really fun stuff planned. We will be making our YouTube comeback pretty soon. And also, um, I'll show a couple things in vlog clips, but yeah, we have like a whole filming extravaganza that's gonna happen. And if you've been here a while, then you will know that like Macy is one of my favorite people. We just have such matched energy when we're together. And we are both two girlies who have been told our entire life that we're like too loud, too crazy, too chaotic, too whatever. And so like just combining the power with each other is the best. And so I'm just really, really excited to show you guys, you know, what we get up to. So that will be coming probably in like the next vlog or the vlog after that. I'm very excited. So, okay, I'm gonna do this quick thing and then I'm gonna catch up with Alexa. I'm so excited. What a great day. Bye. Bye.